The digital divide does not just exist in the home, it's also a classroom reality. And students without access to technology and the internet are more likely to fall behind, especially in math and science. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers at the New Hampshire Institute of Politics at St. Anselm College. Joining me is Lauren Provost from the University of New Hampshire Department of Education. Welcome, Lauren. Thank you. Okay, so what are the basic technology needs and requirements for students in 21st century classrooms? So students come in with very high expectations. They expect to have a classroom that's highly interactive, highly engaging, and technology basically at their fingertips. So uh, classrooms are required to be to reflect this mm -hmm. and be highly engaging and interactive and require technology tools that can be also collaborative. So are schools meeting these requirements? Schools are working very hard to meet these requirements. Um, however, uh, mm -hmm. there are certainly challenges, cost, uh, money, uh, and time. And so schools are looking to different and creative options to meet these demands. Okay, so you mentioned a couple of the obstacles and challenges. What are people doing? What are the, some tools that are being used to implement in the classroom? So uh, schools are really looking outside of their schools for resources. Uh, the University of New Hampshire partners with multiple schools across the state. And for example, Winnicott High School, uh, locally in New Hampshire, is working directly with UNH and has created a technology lab specifically for teachers in preparation programs, pre-service teachers, to expose them to uh, activities that will help build student technological literacy. And so um, schools are partnering really with those around them in the community and in higher education and the Department of Education to find additional resources to uh, build a technologically literate society. All right, so talk more specifically about what you're doing at UNH and why it's so important for teachers to understand how to implement what they have for technology in the classroom. So teachers really need uh, support in doing so. They're meeting a lot of demands right now with the Common Core. And so they're really needing uh, the support around them. And so we're trying to provide opportunities for them, um, UNH, um, the IHE network, which is the 15 institutions in the state and the Department of Education, to bring them opportunities to the school, on-site professional development. Um, that allows them to work directly with students and with us and with other people, resources around them to build content knowledge specific to teaching with technology that's specific to teaching. Um, it's not necessarily content you'll find within the STEM industries, for example. So we're helping them build that knowledge. Um, we're also helping bring in authentic learning experiences that reflect what's truly going on in the STEM disciplines. So in the STEM industries, obviously they're doing a lot of cutting edge work um, but teachers don't always have the time to connect with local industry, and we do have that time. So, for example, um, at East Kingston, in, again, local in New Hampshire, um, southern New Hampshire, and also the STEM Discovery Lab in Manchester have partnered with us, and um, we have brought in recently, it's really exciting, um, Orion's Quest and NASA Education to visit the schools. Um, mm. This was last week. Uh, I can't tell you what the faces of the children Aww. looked like during this experience. It was amazing. So um, we've brought in uh, this, these visitors and we've also brought in some free resources for teachers and students and we're providing the support for them um, from beginning to end um, so that they have that support through our partnership from beginning to end and these students are getting amazing experiences that don't just stop when we leave. Um, we're coming back to these schools and continuing to work with these schools to build experiences over time. Well, Lauren, it sounds like so many exciting things are going on, but if you were to look ahead, what would be one thing that you would say to enhance the classroom experience? Access. Children need to have access at home, in school, and wherever they need it. All right, well, Lauren, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching this week's Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jenny Johnson.